Hello everybody, I am Just Lance and I'd like to welcome all of you back for another video. Anyways, up to 55 subscribers. I have no idea who the new subscriber is um, that I just picked up. Um, whoever you are, your YouTube um, profile is not set to public. So, um, I don't know who you are, but welcome. Anyways, um... This is going to be a little bit of a different shave. This is going to be a head shave tonight. Um, as you can see, I've got about three days growth. And um, this video, um, kind of inspired by Carl Kiefer. Uh, anyways, he did a video using a Jim Micromatic Flying Wing, or more commonly known as the Bullet Kip. And... Uh, he was talking about using it one of these days as a head shaver and I you know told him hey micromatics are great head shavers and you know I do a video using uh, my micromatic open comb for a head shave and he said great looking forward to it so anyways that's what this shave is going to be tonight the shave the razor of course is my 1930s gem micromatic open comb as you can see, there's a lot of blade exposed on this bad boy. Um, in case you're unfamiliar with these gems, Micromatics, they're the only gems that are twist to open. And you go ahead and you have these little corner hooks that you just hook the blade in. You like slide it back in there. When you load it, you just slide it back in. Give me a second here. Hook the front. Slide it back in like so. Drop the front onto these hooks. Hang on guys. There we go. Make sure that they're on there. Drop it down onto the little little post sticking up on the middle, in the middle and on the sides. And then there you go. It's seated, it, twist it down, snug it. Um, the brush is going to be my AP Shave Co 24 millimeter ruby red handle with the tuxedo knot. That's an absolutely wonderful brush. I absolutely love it. The soap is in a Z Pepino tub, but what I did was this is a Franken soap. Um, I went ahead and uh, had a tub of Katie's Bubbles. I can't remember the name of it, but I got it back in 2015, February of 2015, um, shortly after I got into wet shaving. It was a piff to me by a um, gentleman and uh, I still had a little bit left left um, eight ounce tub of Katie's bubbles last a while when you're rotating through other soaps so I went ahead and I took it and I had a little bit of this um, razor oxy pepino left so I mixed it together and I mixed in um, some sterling Piacenza and some K Shave Works Hump Day for cit for citrus notes, and I had a puck that I got from Dennis O'Drain um, from some soaps he sent me. I got a small puck. I forget who makes it, but it's from Spain, and it, the soaps I I Colonia, I believe it's called, and uh, it has kind of a, a colony scent, but it's either either. The puck is too small for me to really lather well, or it's just that the soap doesn't lather well because I can't get it get a good load off of it because it's a small sample puck. So I put that in there in here. I, I, I scraped some off. It's pretty hard stuff. So I scraped it off and mixed it in. And then I mixed in some um, Barrister Man Bay Rum for a little bit of a spicy note. And there's the soap. It's not got a strong, strong scent, but it's it's nice. And of course, you know, the soaps that I mentioned are all pretty much firm soaps, 
firmer on the firmer side. So this is, you know, pretty much razor rock firmness. I mean, I can stick my finger in there, and as you can see, I can make an indentation. But anyways, um, since this is going to be strictly a head shave, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to cut away here, jump in the shower, um, come back, shave my face, and then I'll go ahead and I'll restart the video, and then um, I'll join you all, or let you all join me when I do my head shave. Anyways, see y'all in a minute. Alright everybody, as you can see, did my shower, got a really good shave. Um, three pass shave, really didn't need any cleanups. Just my face is absolutely baby butt smooth. Um, but when you have a razor with that much blade reveal, yeah, you're going to get a close shave. Um, but anyways, so, um, real quick, couple of things. If you're not familiar with the gems and you get one, a um, couple of things you need to look for and make sure of. One, always make sure these little corner hooks are up. If they're smashed down or missing, it's not going to hold your blade. Um, and if you've never used one of these style of razors, whether it's a gem or an Ever Ready or whatever, if it takes that type of blade, if you notice all of a sudden the shave is just the efficiency is degrading really fast, um, don't think that your blade's going dull. Um, or don't automatically think that your blade is going dull. Uh, not so much a problem with this open comb gem, but some a little bit of a problem on my other gem, and definitely a problem on my Ever Readies, uh, my two Ever Readies. Um, sometimes shaving cream and stuff will get, you know, clogged up underneath the blade. So you know, go ahead, take the blade out, check it. If it, you know might need to be rinsed out. Rinse the blade off, rinse the head out. And that's just a couple of quick tips. Anyways, so tonight the beverage is presented by Miller Lite. Um, if you don't drink, uh, you know, uh, you're more than welcome. If you don't drink or you don't approve of drinking and you want to go ahead and click off, then go ahead and do that now because I'm going to take a drink. The beer is nice and cold. My girlfriend was out of town for five days uh, driving Uber uh, down Los Angeles area. So I was taking care of my son. Um, you know, she got back, asked her to grab me a couple of quarts of beer. I know I'm trying to lose weight, and you're probably thinking, well, if you're trying to lose weight, you're going to go ahead and you're going to pack on the weight by drinking that beer. I don't drink that. So, anyways. So let's go ahead and let's get on to shave. As usual, I will do the front half of my noggin first, and these tuxedo knots, I just love this tuxedo rush. Um, speaking of my weight, I've been limiting my portions. Staying away from the sugars. Um, and the starches as much as I could. Been avoiding carbs as much as I can. Um, I'm going splurging here and there. I don't need a thick layer of hair. I mean, cream on my head, or soap on my head. Um, yeah, this this Franken soap is performing really well. Plenty of slick, slickness and all that. In fact, before I do the back, I'm probably going to need to reload that brush a little bit. In fact, what the heck, I'm going to do that now. Ben. Watching some of the guys on YouTube, um, congratulations to SoCal Shaver. Ended up winning the Trevi V. 
uh, giveaway, 300 subscriber giveaway, um, for a Phoenix Artisan Accoutrement, um, oh, what do they call it? Their, their slant bar is the aluminum one, um, Eclipse, Alpha Eclipse. Alpha Ecliptic, Alpha Eclipse, whatever it is. Um, slant bar. The aluminum version. Uh, it just is not a razor at work for him. So, decided to pick it out for a 300 subscriber giveaway. Um, I entered that. Hopeful that I'd win. One um, hold my breath. But SoCal Shave, SoCal Shaver, whatever he is, I forget how he pronounced it, SoCal Shaves, ended up winning it. So congrats to him. So I'll drop my hands real quick. Oh, almost pulled a Carl and got soap in my eye. <laughs> Um, now with these Micromatics on the face it's just like or on the head it's just like the face it's a pretty steep angle I'm just going to do a one pass on my head No. Do it too fast. Lately been watching not only shave videos but automotive videos too. Um Jay Leno's Garage, um, Doug DeMuro, um, some other guys, uh, one car that I'm absolutely just fascinated with, and it's a good thing that I can't see and have a lot of money because I probably have a lot of cars. Um, the two that I'm just really, really enthralled with is the Porsche Cayman models and the Porsche Carrera. But one that's really, really cool is the, that I like, is the Porsche Cayman S um, from 2016. Um, apparently, if you own a Porsche, you can get luggage made you can buy sets of luggage that's made for the front or front trunk of whichever course you have at least for the Cayman you can but the one that I really 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 like um, right right after the Carrera as far as Porsches go um, is the Cayman GT4 it's basically a Cayman body with a um, all the bells and whistles in this the 18 model, 2018 model, and uh, yeah, 2018 or 16, I can't remember, but all the bells and whistles, and it's got the Carrera motor in it. Um, very, very, very fast, agile, nimble little car. Little mid engine two seater. So, yeah, but. 
No. Even if I could see the drive, well, unless I could find an older Cayman at a really good price, there's no way I could afford one. Um, you know, you want to bust it down bare bones, you know, base package of the Carrera GT or Cayman GT. Four is like almost 90 grand, I think. So, and as you can see, Carl, this is having absolutely no issues going over the noggin. It's not feeling aggressive um, or anybody that's never shaved their head with a gym, especially a micromatic. And I've heard this Micromac open comb said that it's one of the most aggressive single edges you can buy. I don't know if that's true. Um, and if you do, if you're getting into this and you decide, you know, I want to go ahead and you never really dealt with the gym, and you think, you know what? I'm going to get me one of them there, Micromatic Open Combs, and go for it. Um, it can get you. It can get you good, so you got to pay attention. I've heard it said that it's like the R41 of single edges. Um, granted... This Micromatic Open Comb was my very first, one of my two very first single edges. Um, I had it before I had either of my injectors, which I got to get some new blades for. Um, I'm out of blades on that for that. Um, had it before I got my Colonial. Razors, the general single edge artist club single edge type razor. One moment. Um, got it before my 1912 Ever Ready shovel head. Flip top shovel head. Um, one moment. Um, picked up a 1924 Ever Ready. Lift here hood style shovel head when I picked up that gym micromatic open comb. If any of you out there know exactly what model gym this this is, um, as you can see it's got the 1912 style head. Um, it's got this white plastic ribbed handle which is pretty grippy that comes down and flares out in front. Um, this was a Christmas gift. I've never used this yet. But it's a great little razor. I'm, well, I've used it. I've never used it on camera. It's a great little razor. So if anybody's familiar with this this model gem, uh, let me know in the comments. Anyways, so back to what I was saying. But, you know, I got the Micromatic Open Comb and the Queen 4 Shovel Head at the same time. And, um, I gotta be in the mood to use the 24 shovel head because it's got kind of a short handle. Um, so maybe I'll contact Rob George and see what he would charge me to make a real nice brass handle for it. I know Rob George does some really awesome work. I want to check out his. I need to check out his store, see what all he's got. Um, so, but yeah, I went ahead and <laughs> the very first gym or no, the very first gym razor I ever used was this Micromatic Open Comb, and I heard that you're going to have, you're either going to get great shape from it or it's just going to kick your ass and, and 
I saw a post on one of the shave groups on Facebook. The guy was saying that he tried multiple different blades, tried every angle he could think of for his micromatic open comb that he had just got. And he had, it was just, it was whipping him. It was whipping him good. And people was all, are you are the corner hooks? Are they are they there? And he's like, yeah, the corner hooks are perfect. Well, how about the alignment? Yeah, the alignment's great. Going up the back of my head and just going through it like hot knife through butter. But, uh, yeah, I watched, um, several, 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 several videos on this razor. Oh, not a whole lot. Probably about four or five videos with guys using this razor because I'd already heard about how aggressive it can be or how aggressive it was before I even used it. I was like, can't it really be that damn aggressive? And I had a pretty good hunch that the answer was yes by the position of the little hooks for the blade at the corners of the comb. And I was like, yeah, it looks like it might be a little aggressive. And then I saw, um, when I got my blades, I got them through RazorsDirect.com. Got a pack of Jim Blue Stars, which, they're all right. Um, I mean, they're good. Don't get me wrong. They're decent blades. Um, I just think I get a few more shaves out of these Persona PTFE coated gym blades that you can buy at Walgreens, CVS, pretty much any damn place that sells single edge blades. So, I put the blade in it and I was like, damn, when I saw just how much that blade was hanging out. And I ain't gonna lie, for a moment, I was a little nervous. So... when I shave with it for the very first time, which I'm almost done here. I kind of... Yeah, approach it like maybe someone with a stray pit bull. Now, I'm not saying pit bulls are bad dogs, so if you're a pit bull lover, please don't send me a bunch of hate mail. <laughs> um, I love pit bull. I like pit bulls. Um, the best dog I've ever had is my guide dog, Herbie, but he's my guide dog, so that explains that, but the next best dog I ever had was a little black and white pit bull that got out her first heat and got her growth stunted by getting pregnant her first heat, so she was like 40 pounds, and she was just a little ball of teeth, and a little black and white ball of teeth and muscle. Um, but she had this mark, if you were standing behind her and looked down on her, the mark looked like a, a kind of a um, seven where the part that came down 
or the part that came down was more straight. And when you stood behind her and looked down, that saddle looked like an L. So it was like, yeah, this dog, you know, this dog's my dog. She was meant for me, you know. But she was the second best dog I ever had. And she eventually got sick and I had to put her down. She was old, you know, but she was an incredible animal, you know. Um, never did fear her biting me or biting my kid, my stepkids. Um, never feared her attacking anybody unless she was provoked or unless somebody was trying to attack anyone in the family. So, I'll be one second. Uh, Nick Charest looks like I'm arguing and here's somebody arguing down the street ways. But, uh, yeah, so that was a good shave. That was a really, really good shave. Um, my thoughts on the product, the Gem Micromatic Open Comb from the 1930s. Like usual, did a great job. If you notice on my face and my head, absolutely no nicks, no cuts, no weepers, no creepers. As you can see, that has a good bit of blade hanging out. Um, the original blade that I was using was the Pella Blue Blade. Uh, in case you've never seen one. That's what they look like. They're kind of a blue color. But, um, but yeah, they are a blue color. As you can see, they're blue. So, that's hence Blue Blade. Um, my blade bank I made out of a pill bottle. I get, for my ulcerated, ulcerated colitis, I get pills called Balsalazide. And they're big pills and I get 200 and something in a shot and that lasts me about a month and a half. Um, should be like less than that, but the, my gastroenterologist wrote down the wrong number on the prescription. So it's like, what the heck, I'll just go ahead and use them every day for the month and a half till they're gone. Um, but yeah, that's my new blade bank that way so when it fills up <laughs> down the road way down the road I can just open it up and dump it out um, I use that blue blade to slice the front there made it wide enough for PE blades, SE blades, artist club blades um, but yeah I digress um, but yeah just an absolutely great shave every part of my head every part of my face my neck everything a little bit, not quite BBS right down here, but it's damn fine on the neck. Um, my neck, I get more, it's more sensitive than the rest of my face, so, you know, I'm not going to overshave. So anyways, let's move on to the post. Dickinson's Witch Hazel. So, if you got a Micromatic, any of you out there have a Micromatic and you want to use it, on your head, forehead shaver, Carl. Um, <laughs> uh, they're great head shavers, Carl. As you can see, um, it didn't tear me up, Carl. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's just a little more. But yeah, it's just a all around great razor. I won't say it. Um, Nivea for sensitive skin cooling bomb. Yeah, I figure on this diet thing, I think I'm going to... Try a little fasting. Um, and intermediate fasting. Um, Christopher David Bailey does it. 
and he's since March lost 80 something pounds so um, and in case you want to learn more about it look on his channel I am CDB, CDB .com. Um, or there on YouTube just do a YouTube search of I am CDB all capital letters all smushed together I A M C D B and um, check it out I went ahead and alright where's my aftershave There it is. And tonight's aftershave is going to be Aqua Velva Musk. Almost out. Need to get more along with Ice Blue Aqua Velva. Um. Ooh, woo. Mm. There we go. That's the stuff right there. Just touch more for the for the face. Ah, dang it. Overflow. Overboard. Yep. Yeah. Mm. Mm. I'm living like a Frenchman. <laughs> As Buck Strickland on King of the Hill once said, um, if you're too young to get that inference, um, I'm sorry. <laughs> but, uh, so yeah, great shade. Um, everything performed great. The brush. Form wonderful the Franken soap great that Franken soap slick every soap I use putting that Franken soap together Katie's bubbles sterling bear stern man razor rock um, K shave works all excellent soaps um, the only one that I'm not 100% sure of was that Icolonia but all the rest great soaps Mm, made a great lather. Uh, just absolutely, absolutely beautiful, beautiful, beautiful scent. Um, I'm rather proud of that Franken soap. Uh, granted, I didn't make the soaps, but, you know, I squished them together, so very proud of it. Anyways, um, likes, comments, subscriptions, always appreciate it. Welcome to the new subscriber. I hope you all have been doing well. And I forgot, how are you all? doing um anyways i hope you all been doing good um if you ever need to reach me for anything via email just lance 59 at gmail.com all lowercase no spaces anyways i'll see all of you on the flip side of the plate bye bye now